You're not a manager of your life. You're a creator of your life or you wouldn't be in this room. How do you create your life? You get hungry for something, don't you? Who has done something in your life that once seemed difficult or impossible and now it's part of your life? Who's got something in your life in this area? Say I. How did you do it? You created it three ways. Number one, you decided there's something you wanted so bad that you unleashed all your desire. You became obsessed with it. If there's something you once envisioned and now it's real, it's because you didn't just envision it, you brought so much emotion to it that now it's in your life. It was once a dream, it was once a goal, and now it's in your life. How many have something like that in your life now? Say I. Confidence in her own ability. Because she has so much potential, it's almost scary. She's just amazing. Understanding and accepting the ability that she has, um, believing that she can do it, um, and not allowing herself to go into self-doubt because she's a lot better and stronger and much more determined and talented than what she even realizes even today. Um, knowing that she's ready um, is gonna be a big one so she's not having to do a mad dash for the finish line. Um, and you know that's actually taught me a lot about that as well. Um, but just knowing that she's done all the work, she she's done it. She doesn't have to worry about it. Oh, you know, I haven't done this. I haven't practiced this. She's not at any point going to sit back after and go, Do you know what? I should have worked harder. I should have changed this. Oh, I, you know, I shouldn't have eaten all this sort of stuff. She doesn't need to worry about this. She knows 100%. She's ready to go and and it shows in her confidence. So here we are, 12 hours out of comp, uh, staying the night at Michelle's, just cooking food, prepping, getting ready for the day. Um, Michelle's been absolutely amazing throughout my whole entire journey. We've spent two years together um, prepping for this. She's been absolutely amazing and I'm super excited to be taking this journey with her. of comp day today, my first one, uh, feeling very excited, very amped up, very pumped. I did um, some journaling when I first woke up, puts me in a good mindset if I have any, um, I guess, fears or worries, um, I just journal it down and then replace it with what I want to feel and how I want to feel um, and that I'm already feeling that way. Um, yeah, so that's a really good tip that definitely helps put me in a good mind space. So I definitely feel, yeah, feel really good. And also just put on a bit of um, meditation music. So just nice, calm, soft music just to kind of bring, bring, bring me to like a calm. And um, yeah, so just had a look in the mirror and body is looking really good. So super happy. There's no bloating or anything like that because um, I am on my period. So that's fun. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm feeling good regardless. Um, no bloating, which is good. And yeah, just about to eat my first meal for the day. So I'll have three meals before I actually go out on stage. And then before I go out on stage, my carb up will be Gatorade. So um, yeah, so that's what I'll be having um, is just Gatorade. So that's the plan for today. Um, as for water, um, there's no water restriction for me. I'll just take sips here and there uh, when I feel like it. And yeah, just pop my bikini on, pump up backstage, and yeah, just stay in my zone and um, yeah, do my best. From M Theory Fitness, coached by Michelle Edney, number 57, Crystal Mayoro. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia A darling, I'm just so fed up With these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell about today. I think just being around the girls 
and you know because I saw them a week ago on our last posing session and we were all so excited and so nervous and just talking about it and you know we've been texting each other and um, and everything like that wishing each other luck and you know just so excited for each other because we're all going through the same experience and so I just can't wait to be backstage with everyone and just yeah enjoying it together. In third place today in the first timers division, number 54, Shayran. In second place today, number 55, Kiri. In first place, number 57, Crystal Mayola. Expectations they keep weighing me down. My heart is begging. Hey, now we know. Okay, four bars in the No, just going into the next one, we're just going to sit down and work out what the goals are. Uh, see where she wants to go. She's going to have a little bit of a rest first, a much needed rest, and then we're just going to start looking at where we want to go from there and seeing how far we can push it next time because she can do it.